Mike, thanks. New at 10, more businesses in our community are stepping up to try and make equipment or make PPE equipment for our first responders. And tonight, New Science Katie Blaze takes us to Titan Robotics to show their 3D printing efforts. Well, I'm told the company's main business is to actually make industrial 3D printers. And right now, they're using those machines to make those much-needed items for medical workers. Right now, focusing on face shields. When the pleas for personal protective equipment began, Maddie Guillory and the rest of the team at Titan Robotics immediately got involved. We have changed our our focus, our production, to be able to meet the need and um, protect them and keep them safe while they're doing the most important job right now. We've been working on this for several weeks as soon as the news came out that 3D printing could make some of these parts. Right now, their main efforts are printing halos. We printed a couple hundred for the state and those are getting sent off to Greeley to get assembled and distributed here in Colorado. And face shields. We just got approval for that design not too long ago, earlier this week. So we've printed about a hundred of those so far and we're gearing up to print thousands. With the help of another small business in town, Moto Minded. We are really gearing up to start mass producing these. And they're able to do this through some unique technology. Our machines use plastic pellets instead of filament. And so because we use the injection molding type pellets, we can print these parts much faster and at a much lower cost. And while she says it typically takes two to three hours to print a face shield using other materials. And we can print one of those face shields in five and a half minutes. An encouraging number as so many of these are needed for our heroes on the front lines. The pandemic that we're going through right now is really unprecedented and we here at Titan just want to be able to do whatever we can uh, to keep people safe. Ann Guillory tells me they've also had requests to 3D print actual masks that go on the face. She says those designs are still being verified and tested by local hospitals. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Katie Blaze, News 5.